this area that we're in, do we see anything that looks like a cell or some place where they would keep someone incarcerated? You found a cell. Uh, outside. Last game, outside, by the barracks. Next to the barracks. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps we should look at the cell again. See what we can find there. Now let's finish our examination of the third floor, and then maybe we'll get some more answers. And there's also another area of the second floor we haven't visited yet. Of course she was on. Yes, I agree. And that surely will give us more answers, and then of course we can go back and look at that cell. Hopefully nothing will come charging out of us and out of it and try to kill us. But, okay, so let's go. Let's do systematic. Let's let's uh, head this room next. All right. Open the door. Whoosh. Doors open. And Gary walks right in. Okay. This... Let's just pretend I'm in there. <laughs> How ready a bow to cover uh, Gary? Whose name I have forgotten in character. Uh, this looks like the bedroom of somebody. Uh, yes, there, are, there are kimono here with phoenix type mons on them. All right, I did again do a cursory search just in case. Yes. There's, and I'm going to do two raises on this search again. Okay. Um, you look around this room. It looks to be a Shugenja's room. Um, there are some writing supplies in here. There's no scrolls though. It seems like the scrolls were down. The spell scrolls were down in the library. A pin up yeah, I already grabbed all this. Yeah. I'm looking for his scroll sack because that would probably be near his purse on that. Uh, you do not find a scroll satchel. Okay. All right. This appears to be a Shugenja's room, probably the court Shugenja. You can tell by the lack of armor, weapons, and cool things. <laughs> <laughs> and his spell satchel isn't here either. I don't see it anyway. It could be a child's room at this point. <laughs> Uh, the kimonos, are they fine quality? The kimono are of regular quality. Regular, okay. The female and, kimono, uh, the female kimono <laughs> over in the, in the lady of the, the Yeah, the but I can't wear fine. a female's kimono, I don't think. I think, or is, aren't kimonos unisex? I don't, I don't seem to remember. Nah, they're cut different. They're definitely. Yeah, they are. And especially like courtier kimono for women have those big billowy sleeves that go everywhere and. Mm -hmm. The huge Gina train. Son, I believe you can pull this kimono off. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get especially them drunk after, enough. Especially after three bottles of sake, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sake makes your clothes come off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why those courtier women wear so much clothing. Mm -hmm. Mystery <laughs> solved. Mystery solved. All right, well, let's give y'all feel like going to the next room now, or did y'all want to look around here some more? I'm ready to move on. Okay, we'll go to the center room then. Okay, you open it up. This room is empty. It looks like a room <laughs> that could be a bedroom later on if somebody, like a friend of the family came or uh, another important figure of the castle was assigned here. It is an open room just in case. Last room. Open up the door. Next. I'll do it again because I'm dumb. All right. Well, as long as nothing's knocking on the door and scratching, I, I assume it's safe <laughs> to open. This <laughs> so far so good. There. This room looks like it is a young samurai this girl's room. room. There's a sword Ooh. stand, light armor. There's some books, and there is a figment in here, and it's crying over her desk. And then she turns towards the doorway, towards you. What are you doing in here? I'm, I'm sorry. No. No! She puts up her hands and she screams and then falls to the ground. And then disappears. That's not good. I believe that was the murder of a young girl. That... By someone she knew. That could possibly be what happened. It could be Budoka, actually. Maybe he found a way to get out of that cell. Yes, perhaps the fiend in the cell was able to escape and inflict his madness upon this young samurai. You want to search the room anyway, just in case? Yeah, that's always a, a good policy. Yeah, you don't find anything with that room. Okay, okay uh, well, should we head up to the next level? This is it. Oh, and Arthur, we're, 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 we're on the third story. 
I don't mind. have to go back to the first. If, if there's a fourth story, it's probably apparitional. Well, if we, if we, if we go, if we go up the stairs on the top, roof. You can go yeah. out on the roof if you want. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get up on the roof. What are you doing Let's on the roof? The roof. Uh, Corey, is there any weird rule that the rooftops are owned by the city? Or <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to t tell the story of the rooftops of Ryoko Awari. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this Lay game master course. named uh, Steve. And he was, he's an excellent game master, but he's not, uh, he's not very, what's the word, consistent. <laughs> he's not very consistent. So things could change from game to game. You never knew what was, what the rules were sometimes. But his characters and his plots were wonderful. So it kept my interest. It kept me wanting to keep coming back to the game. One of the weirdest things that happened was that we were, the party was in Ryoko Awari, which is a scorpion town, one of the biggest towns in Rokugan. Uh, the scorpion are a clan of, of ne'er-do-wells, ninja, and stuff like that. And we, lo and behold, are attacked by ninja in the night. And they try to escape by rooftop, and we go up to the roof to fight them. And we do so. But then the game master says, you don't, you don't want to kill them. And we're like, why? They... They're on our roof. This is our property. They're invaders. They're, they're thieves and assassins. We should be able to kill them. And he goes, no, no, no. You see, roofs are public property. So it would be considered murder. We all look at each other we're like, <laughs> wait, what? And he goes, yes. The, the ruling class of Ryoko Awari, since they're all scorpion and ninjas, made legislation, made laws to dictate that rooftops are our public property so ninjas can get around better. <laughs> <laughs> I love Steve's games. They were the best, though. <laughs> I'm just thinking the attack ad against those politicians would have been great. He made rooftops public properties for ninjas to kill you. Yeah, don't vote Imperial. Don't I didn't know you had a ch I didn't know you could vote Imperial. It was either, <laughs> yeah. you know, you vote vote Imperial or die. Die. So mm -hmm. I, I pull out my uh, my scroll and I cast a spell called the Legacy of Kami no Kazi. And after about a minute of chanting, this little sparrow appears in front of me, uh, probably on the ledge of the roof, and I talk to it and I give a detailed report for about one minute, 60 seconds, about what we found here, that yes, the castle is back after 600 years. Um, we're looking around, we're surveying, and we'll get back to you later with more. Make your spell roll, please. Okay. Okay. You made it. The bird is about to turn to take off, and then it stops, turns back to you, and sits uh, there. This is unusual. It kind of can it not get out. Kind of jumps up left and right a little. Doesn't know can what it's going to get out. This is I weird. look. I look around from up yeah, here to see if there's any reason why it can't fly, or if we've disappeared again, or no. what? what? Wow. No, this is just hopping back and forth. Well, I had intended for it to go back to the Phoenix capital city. Maybe there's something we missed here. I don't know, unless something's preventing it from flying off. Something I don't about know how this place. stuff works. You're the expert. Well, obviously, there's some sort of spell like effect still affecting this place, I would think. The magic castle that reappeared after being vanished for 600 years might have a spell on it, yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully we haven't disappeared with it and we'll come back 600 years later. That would kind of put a dent in, in you know, all of our social charm and graces. Yeah. You walk yeah, out of the castle. Do, that might save me some money. You walk out of the castle and suddenly there's like like steel towers and like <laughs> samurai with laser swords. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. Chuba-san, is this what normally happens? Uh, okay, let me make some sort of roll to figure out why this bird isn't going somewhere. Okay, what kind of role would Can you I like to make? To I don't know. Jordan? Would it be Shugenja lore or lore elements? Or? You can make a lore elements or Shugenja lore role, sure. 
I'll let you make okay, either one of those. Which one would be more appropriate? Well, what is this thing made out of? This bird. Water. This bird. It's it's a water or no, it's an air spell. So air. It's made of air, and air is an is a. And it's an element. So make a lore elements roll. Yeah, that's that's probably a good enough roll to know what I'm doing wrong. You can talk to it. You have the ability. You have a spell that lets you talk to air kami. And that bird well, this, is an air kami. Yeah, you can talk to my bow. So all right, which which one is that? Summon it, air or? It is commune with air. Commune with air. Okay. Because usually with this spell, it just says you tell the bird a minute long thing and send it off. So when okay. you commune for every raise, are you, if you cast the spell, you get to ask it a question. For every raise thereafter, you get to ask it another question. Well, the problem is I'm going to be rolling free keep too. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, you failed. No, I didn't do the raise, so the, it's a 10 of 10, isn't it? It's a 10 of 10. You rolled a 5. That's a 5, sir. Oh, I didn't see the 5. I saw the 10. 1, okay. 2, 3. Um, Why is it a 10 and a 5 of 10 for a rank 1 spell? It's a t- So the Shugenja is doing something. He's like frantically going through his scrolls as he's so he summoned a bird made out of air. And now he's frantically going through his scrolls and trying and chanting. He seems frustrated. Something's not happening that he wants to happen. You don't know what's going on. I touch the air bird as I am bored. All right. The air bird takes your touches. It feels kind of cool, and it, it kind of likes being petted. <laughs> so we'll roll that again. All right, roll it again. Perfect. You made it. All right. You may ask the bird a question. Talk what to else do you bit. need to fulfill the role I have given you? There, Kami, the little bird looks up at you and chirps at you. You're mean. Why are you so mean? I mean, you told me to go give a message to somebody to, at, at a place that doesn't exist. Is this a joke? Are you are you playing with me? Wow. You're playing with you're, you're playing with the wrong bird. That's what you're doing. The wrong bird. So you're saying the capital isn't there. He's, he's saying the capital isn't there anymore. He's saying the capital doesn't exist. Wait. Am I to understand correctly that the commie says that the capital is no longer in existence? That's what he's saying. Or well, it is saying. It could be a she. It's not yet in existence. Perhaps you should clarify. I believe that the Shugenja is correct. Oh, no. Did the commie oh. say doesn't exist or not yet in existence? It didn't say either, but these guys are jokesters. And he thinks I'm playing a joke on him. Maybe we're in some sort of weird time bubble. Time that bubble. That seems plausible. So I guess I will have to get out of this area before I can send another bird. Okay, do you dispel it? I'll let it hop around. Eventually it'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> you just can keep it there? Like, you now exist forever. <laughs> I, I give him a present. Yeah. <laughs> I find a bit of fluff or something to give to him because their commies like that kind of stuff. Okay. So at least he has something to play with while he decides that the capital city still exists. All right. Well, and eventually it'll just dissipate on its own. Yeah, it'll get it'll get bored, which is why I gave it something. Yeah, let's take it out outside of the castle then, and maybe it'll figure out where it is then. Is that where you're going? You're heading out. That's uh, the only thing I can think of doing. Maybe you can hold the other end of a rope just to make sure that you don't vanish and, and we end up in another time stream 600 years from now. So we are there. All right, you take the little bird all the way out to the bridge and then beyond the bridge to make sure you're totally outside of the castle because the bridge wasn't there either. So yeah. you get all the way out where the, the magnolia where the magnolia forest starts. Yes. The bridge is part of the castle. Yeah. yeah. The shadows are getting longer. It's getting very dark. Um, I don't know if we want to stay here at night. 
And you know, Holly Castle at night, I don't see the problem. That sounds like a good idea. Well, what if whatever was attacking them goes away during the day and comes back at night? Well, that might be the best way to find out what's happening. If we just oh, had a great so day, it happens to us. Us. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we know what's happening. <laughs> now we're dead. The bird still looks at you, not sure what to do. Oh, yeah. I pull my dog out of my pack and feed it. Let him go poop. Okay. You let yeah, the dog the out. Same thing. What kind of dogs do y'all have? Castle. Explain your dogs. I have a pug. <laughs> He's a little white pug. Howard, what kind of dog do you have? Does chin. Have... Oh, a chin. Japanese, a Japanese chin. chin. Yes. All right, guys. Um, y'all are at the river, uh, at the forest. The bird doesn't know what you're talking about. It disappears. It says, everything you shoot will be like Death Star quality guns. Don't fire downward. <laughs> <laughs> Not at a planet. <laughs> Whatever you do. Not the planet basketball. <laughs> <laughs> basketball Hardware wars, really? Our viewers don't know all of this. Give it, give them a break. I our, mean, our all viewers are multiple. If, if our viewers are who they think they are, they're going, these guys are so cool. They watched Hardware Wars. <laughs> so, Oh, I've never even heard of that one. Oh, her 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 I'm sure it's there. Her her Chris, okay, Chris. Oh, you, just lost, are you just lost cool points with it. No, you kick, kick her. Kick her. And never <laughs> admonish somebody for not seeing or knowing about something. Because now you get the privilege of introducing, introducing them to it. Them. That's yeah, true. Yeah, and you get to That's share true. that so guess what we're going to do after the first, this. For the first time. <laughs> Watch Hardware Wars. Exactly. Brace yourself. It doesn't take long. Brace Follow. yourself. It's not that good. <laughs> Followed by Pink Fun. <laughs> oh, you will it. laugh. You will cry, and you will kiss three bucks goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're crossing the streams. The emperor was Shadowlands tainted, and nobody could mention that to him or anybody else because it was considered extreme dishonor to do so. Wow. <laughs> so it's like just, just wow. You can't say anything about that. Yes, yes, he's turning ashen. Yes, turning black, greenly <laughs> stuff coming out of his ears, but. Uh, but don't say anything. Well, <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> it seems like we're in some sort of time bubble. That seems plausible. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the real world, Corey. <laughs> exactly. exactly. There could be a time bubble, hush. This is a time bubble. That seems plausible. It's like an episode of Star Trek. Fuck! <laughs> Are we in some sort of it acts like a time, time bubble? bubble? That seems plausible, Captain. Do we need? A, <laughs> we need a no, I want a true, like, canned laughter effect, like Brady Bunch style. <laughs> laughter every time we make a bad joke. Okay. Hi, Corey. Hi, I'm back. <laughs>